today we will discuss about cytokinesis what is cytokinesis cytokinesis is the division of cells after either mitosis or meiosis 1 and 2 in this the cytoplasm will split into two equal halves and the cell becomes two daughter cells Cytokinesis will begin in anaphase in animal cells and prophase in plant cells and terminates in telophase in both and form two daughter cells produced by mitosis. So what is the function of cytokinesis? It is to perform an essential process to separate the cells in half. In this diagram you can see, you can clearly see that in the middle a contractile ring creating cleavage furrow is formed and it is splitting into two daughter cells. So what happens to the chromosomes? A completed nuclear envelope will surround the dependency chromosomes and a contractile ring or a cleavage furrow will form in the center and will split the cells into two. So uh, in the animal cells it begins in anaphase, in the plant cells it begins in prophase but, but in animal and plant cell it will end in telophase stage and will form the two daughter cells. So this is the difference between the animal cell and the plant cells. So as we said animal cell versus plant cell. What happens in animal cell? A cleavage furrow will form in the center that is the contractile ring. The cleavage furrow will form and splits into two daughter cells and here you can see in plant cells what is happening a cell plate is formed in the center and will clearly form two daughter cells cell plate is formed in the center in the plant cells but a cleavage furrow will form in the center for the animal cells and will split into two daughter cells that is the main difference of cytokinesis in animal cell and the plant cell so what happens how it happens in the cytokinesis cytokinesis is also known as cell motion this is the second main stage of the mitotic phase during which cell division is completed through the physical separation of the cytoplasmic components into two daughter cells that is exactly a cell is dividing into two daughter cells division is not complete until the cell components have been apportioned and completely separated into two daughter cells so it have to be the division had to be complete only if the cell will split into two daughter cells Although the stage of mitosis is similar for most eukaryotes, the process of cytokinesis is quite different for eukaryotes that have cell walls such as plant cells. That is for plant cells what is happening? A cell plate is formed right? In animal cells what is happening? Cleavage furrow is formed. That is only the major difference. In cells such as animal cells that lack cell walls, animal cells have do not have cell walls. Only plant cells have cell walls. So in cells such as animal cells, that lack cell walls. Cytokinesis follows the onset of anaphase. A contractile ring composed of actin filaments forms just inside the plasma membrane at the former metaphase plate. These actin filaments pull the equator of the cell inward forming a fissure and this fissure or crack is known as the cleavage furrow. So here it is discussed that how a cleavage furrow is formed in the animal cells how the cleavage furrow is formed a contractile ring and that is composed of actin filaments it forms just inside the plasma membrane at the former metaphase plate then these actin filaments will pull the equator of the cell inward forming a fissure and this fissure is known as cleavage furrow this is what how the cytokinesis happens in the animal cell here we will discuss how it happens in the plant cells what happens in plant cells? In the plant cells, a new cell wall must form between the daughter cells, right? So during interphase, the Golgi apparatus accumulates enzymes, structural proteins and glucose molecules prior to breaking into vesicles and dispersing throughout the dividing cell. During telophase, these Golgi vesicles are transported on microtubules to form a phragmoplast at the metaphase place. There, the vesicles fuse and coalesce from the center toward the cell walls. This structure is called the cell plate. As more vesicles fused, the cell plate enlarges until it merges with the cell walls of the periphery of the cell. Enzymes use the glucose that has accumulated between the membrane layers to build a new cell wall. So plant cells, how here it is described that how a cell plate is formed, how it is divided into two daughter cells. So during interphase, what happens is that there is a structure called Golgi apparatus and it will accumulate enzymes, structure proteins and glucose molecules. Okay.
before breaking into vesicles. So during the telophase, these vesicles, they are transported to form a phragmoplast, that is a structure. They are transported to form a structure, that is vesicular structure and the metaphase place. These vesicles then will fuse and form the structure called cell plate. So this is what happens in the plant cells. This is what how the cytokine 6 happens in the plant cells. So there is difference between how it happens in animal cells and plant cells. In this diagram you can clearly see in animal cells a cleavage furrow is forming in the center, clone tractile ring and it is splitting into two daughter cells. Plant cells what happens? Cell plate is formed and it is splitting into two daughter cells. It's very very simple as such. Only the difference is furrow in animal cells and cell plate in the plant cells. So here, what happens if cytokinesis does not occur? So what happens if cytokinesis will not occur? Then the cytoplasm wouldn't be divided and there wouldn't be two identical daughter cells, right? So the cell will remain to be at rest, not being able to separate into two individual cells. So if no cytokinesis is happening, no division is, of course, no division will take place. Okay, so what is the difference? What is mitosis? It is a division of nucleus. So what is cytokinesis? It's simple as such. It is a division of the cytoplasm. So mitosis, division of nucleus and cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm. So this is the end of a brief introduction of the cytokinesis. So we will see in the next class. Thank you so much for watching.